Filling up the Mississippi River at this hour, the Enterprise is on its way to California. Bill Capo reports residents gave her a fond farewell. By the hundreds, they came to say goodbye and to marvel one last time at the Space Shuttle Enterprise, one of the most popular sites at the World's Fair. I like the beach. As tense NASA technicians scurried about making last-minute preparations, onlookers marveled at the feat of moving the huge spacecraft. I think it's going to be really interesting seeing them little dead on that barge. It's uh, an incredible feat. A calm but careful driver backed the shuttle aboard a barge. As it began to move, spectators applauded. It took less than 15 minutes to make the move. You could see the barges settle in the water under the shuttle's 150,000 pound weight. Many of those watching were saddened, seeing the shuttle's departure as the first visible sign that the World's Fair is about to close. I'm sad, I'm about ready to cry because the fair is leaving. The World's Fair should stay. It should stay. I love it. Sad to see this place close. I think it should have went for two years myself. While fair officials toasted with champagne, the skies darkened and the rain began to fall when the Enterprise began her river journey, as if the city itself hated to say goodbye. The shuttle will spend the night at Avondale Shipyards. Tomorrow, though, you'll have one last chance to wave goodbye as the giant spacecraft cruises down the river. Her eventual destination, Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, where the Enterprise will be used to test the new shuttle launch pad. I'm Bill Capo, Channel 4, Eyewitness News.